Hello everybody. The topic for now is wage differentials and it is really important topic for long questions and for even MCQs questions. And wage differentials mean why different people earn different amounts. Sometimes people earn different amounts in the same job doing exactly same job but earning different amounts and sometimes they earn different amounts because they are doing different jobs. For example, a uh, doctor might be earning high amount of money as compared to teachers and teachers might be earning more than the cooks and than other professions, many other professions. So before moving to uh, the factors that cause wage differentials, I would suggest all of you to stop the video and have a look on this, uh, this table. This table contains weekly wage rate of different occupations and genders in USA as per the data of 2013. So the, this is real time data. The first difference is basically the gender difference, men and women. Men are paid greater than women. If we have an overall look on this table, then in each category, men are earning more than women. So different people are diff earning different amounts. The first difference we can figure out is the gender difference. So CEOs, men are earning 2,266 US dollars per week. And you know, this is again data relevant to 2013. And you can find out the recent data from World Development Indicator, which is really a reliable, most reliable organization which publishes data relevant to all of the countries. And you can see that surgeons in USA earn $2,087 per week and men and women 1497 so you can see that different people are different earning different amounts in usa because of gender difference or the or the difference of occupation and what are the other factors that cause wage differentials and we will have a look on these factors the first factor that is really important to be considered is demand and supply of labor and Demand and supply of labor determines how much wages should be paid to different people. Those workers who are in high supply, they receive low wages and the workers with low supply receive high wages. We can make a graph to explain the scenario and this economic model will explain you why different people earn different amounts depending upon their demand and supply. Uh, so initially equilibrium is at point E where you can see that wage rate is W and employment is equal to Q. The workers which are in high supply, they receive high wages. As per basic demand and supply phenomena, demand, when demand is high, demand for labor shifts to the right. So workers with high demand uh, will receive high wages. So new equilibrium is taking place at E1, where wage rate will rise to W1 and employment will rise to Q1. And on the other hand, if we have a look on the workers who are in low demand, they, if the demand is low, then demand curve will shift to DL2 to the left and new equilibrium will take place at E2, where wage rate they will receive is W2 and employment is Q2. So you can clearly see that the workers which are in high demand receive high wages. The workers which have low demand receive low wages. Same is the case with supply. when supply of workers is greater wage rate will fall and when supply is low wage rate will rise so the workers which are in high supply they receive low wages and it, it is really simple thing really simple to understand even that the workers which are in high demand high supply they their availability is more so they will receive low wages. For example, as per this figure, you can see that the workers with high supply will receive low wages. When supply is high, supply of labor curve shifts to the right, increase in supply, shifts supply to the right, and new equilibrium will take place at E1, where employment will be Q1 and wage rate is W1. So workers with greater supply receive low wages. But on the other hand, if workers are in less supply, those type of workers who are very less in supply, their supply shifts to the left and equilibrium, their equilibrium moves to E2, 
and they receive high wages to W2. So workers with low supply receive high wages. So the first factor that was basically uh, affecting wage rate of different people was demand and supply of labor. So the next factor is productivity of labor and productivity of labor definitely affects wage rate. Those workers who are highly productive, they receive high wages and the workers who are less productive, they receive low wages. Definitely companies and businesses pay workers accordingly. Those workers who are adding a lot to the output of the company, profit of the company, uh, then companies are comfortable paying high wages to them. But the workers who are less productive and they add lesser output or they add lesser to the profitability of business, then business are not willing to pay them high wages. So they receive low wages. And similarly, ability is another factor. Some people are more qualified, experienced and skilled and they are more educated. They have more ability because of greater education and training and uh, skills, etc. So they receive high wages and it is natural that workers with high qualification generally receive high wages. And then there are some compensating differences as well. And compensating differences mean sometimes workers receive high wages because they are doing some dirty jobs and dirty job means the job which is um, which is dangerous and which has greater life threat. For example, in Germany, pilots are paid high wages because they think that pilots are at stake every time. And similarly, coal miners and the people uh, in armed forces receive high wages because they have life threat all the time. And similarly, we can have a look on the workers who are doing white collar jobs and uh, they receive generally low wages because they are working in very nice environment and there is no life threat to them and they are in safe in working in safe environment. So they receive low wages generally. Similarly, workers working in unsociable hours like night shifts, like on weekends, they receive high wage as compared to the people who are working in sociable hours and they are doing safe jobs. Then market imperfection is another factor. Market imperfection means sometimes workers are the part of trade union. Market imperfection. If workers are the part of monopoly trade union, they receive high wages. Trade union is workers association which works for the benefits of member workers and the workers who are the part of union receive high wages. Sometimes workers are facing monopsony employer. Monopsony employer is the single employer of labor who pays less amount of money to the workers. And sometimes government intervention is there which leads to low or high wages for different occupations. For example, if government sets minimum wage rate for a certain profession, then workers will receive high wages. And if government sets maximum wage rate, then workers will receive low wages. And um, we can make a single graph showing the situation of monopoly trade union, monopsony and monopsony employer. Monopoly, as the name suggests, is monopoly trade union is the single association of workers which works for the benefits of its member workers. And to make graph for monopoly trade union and monopsony employer, what we have to do is we have to draw three lines like this. And what does these three lines show? We can label them. This is marginal revenue product of labor, which is also known as demand for labor. This is average cost of labor, which is also known as supply of labor. And this is marginal cost of labor. Marginal cost of labor is the additional cost of employing one additional worker. So with, this is wage rate. You can clearly see that there are two intersection points. So one is, let's say we call it EP and the other one is EM. Let's say at EP, you can see that wage rate is WP and employment is QP. And we are considering that this is perfectly competitive market or we can call it open market where demand and supply of labor 
uh, is determining the wage rate at w at wp uh, but monopoly trade union definitely uh, workers make union to charge wages more than the open market wage rate so they will never charge this wage rate they will charge more than this so for charging more than that that what they do is they set their equilibrium where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue product and they will charge this much amount of money and they will they will basically provide this much amount of workers qm amount of workers so monopoly trade union if workers are the part of monopoly trade union then they receive high wages those workers who are working in open market they receive low wages but if workers are facing monopsony employer monopsony employer is a single employer of labor then they will receive this much amount of money wn we can call it wn wn is monopsony wage rate okay so the workers who are facing monopsony they receive low wages and the workers who are the part of trade union they receive high wages government intervention is also another factor that causes wage differentials the workers who are receiving minimum wage rate they get more and the workers who are receiving maximum wage rate they receive low wages maximum and minimum wage rate are these are technical terms and they have certain meanings minimum wage is the wage rate set above equilibrium for example initial equilibrium is at w and employment is q if government sets minimum wage rate for certain type of workers then minimum wage rate as a basic concept is above equilibrium so this is minimum wage rate and minim we call it minimum wage rate because employers cannot pay less than this wage they can pay more than this like in pakistan the minimum wage rate is 17500 uh, pak rupees per month so this is minimum wage rate already wage rate workers were receiving um, generally was lesser than this so government decided that uh, workers should receive minimum 17500 so it is above equilibrium and so this is minimum wage rate it it, it confuses students sometimes because if it, if we are calling it minimum why it is more than the equilibrium wage rate definitely here minimum mean minimum limit government sets this minimum limit and ask the employers to pay more than this but not less than this okay then what about maximum wage rate maximum wage rate is set below equilibrium if government thinks that trade unions or workers associations are charging very high wage then government will set maximum wage rate wx and it is below equilibrium because government uh, says that employers should pay maximum this they can pay less than this but not more than this wage rate wx so this is maximum wage rate so workers who are receiving minimum wage they are high and those who are facing maximum wage wage law they receive low wages mobility of labor is an other factor those people who are more mobile they might be occupationally mobile or they may be geographically mobile those those people mobility mean people can move workers can move from one location to another location or from one occupation to another occupation even so those workers who are more mobile they move around and they can travel from one place to another place they generally earn high wages as compared to the people who are immobile who are reluctant to move to another job or who are reluctant to move to another geographical area pay for performance is another factor that determines pay for performance is another factor pay for performance okay so uh, sometimes jobs are commission based commission based and workers who really contribute more they earn more con con they earn more commission and they earn more bonuses and they earn more rewards so those workers who whose performance is low they receive lesser incomes principal agent issues are issues is another important factor that affects wage differentials principal mean owner of the business and agent mean the person who acts on behalf of the owner mean worker so principal is owner of the business or head of institution and agent is uh, the worker so the relation between principal and agent definitely determine the wage rate of a worker
in relationship definitely it is working relationship and they don't have any kind of family relationship so what they do is they this relationship is built generally built on the basis of performance those workers who are working well in the eyes of principal then principal will offer more wages and more bonuses and everything uh, greater than other workers if the agent and principal have issues and principal principal thinks that worker is not contributing uh, as per the requirement of company then he may offer low wages age and gender difference is um, again age and gender difference is another important factor as you have seen um, at the start of this video that different women and men were earning different amounts uh, in USA in 2013 and the same phenomena can be observed in 2020 so uh, the cost of living in the region is another fa factor cost of living mean cost of living contributes uh, many expenses contribute to the cost of living of individuals like uh, food accommodation medical education transportation every kind of expense expenditure which are necessary for survival of a person and for maintaining a uh, standard lifestyle they are the part of cost of cost of living those areas where cost of living is high wage rate is generally high and the areas where cost of living is low wage rate is also low for example in dubai cost of living is high as compared to um, cost of living in islamabad and cost of living in islamabad is more than the cost of living in let's say lahore so the people living in Islamabad might be receiving more wages because cost of living is higher than Lahore and the people living in Dubai might be receiving more wages as compared to the people living in Islamabad because cost of living in Dubai is more than the cost of living in uh, Islamabad. And now the last but not the least is the cost of performing the job. Cost of performing the job is really important factor. Performance job. When we talk about cost of performing the job, we talk about the expenses and uh, threats to to your health, threats to the health of worker. And if people have more cost to perform the job, they have to pay more cost in 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 terms of the, it might be in terms of transportation cost. Cost of time is also the part of cost. So. The workers who are traveling a lot to perform their job, they might be receiving high wages as compared to the people who have job near to their homes. Similarly, when you perform job, you might have to meet different other expenses as well. For example, if you have to purchase multiple instruments, it means you will have to uh, exp you will have to spend a lot of money on purchasing different tools, technology and instruments so it is it will cost you high when it costs you high you will definitely charge high wages and sometimes you are working at the cost of your health and if you are doing it at the cost of health then you will definitely ask for higher wages so uh, these are the multiple factors that affect wage rate of different people might be working in similar jobs or might be different working in different jobs and it is really important and uh, important question for 25 marks generally it is asked by the examiner hope you can understand it now if you are still facing any kind of problem then you can write in comment box i'm always there to help you out